Hello, I'm Coach Cliff with Coach Cliff's Gaga Ball Pits, and today I want to show uh, putting a Gaga Ball Pit together using our Quick Connector system. You may have seen our other video that shows putting the Gaga Ball Pit walls together just using a threaded knob and the uh, studs that stick out of the wall. So, basically, in addition to our written instructions, uh, this video is just uh, to serve a, another way of understanding how these go together. So the first step is to mark your hole positions on both ends of the board. So you start with one side of the board, mark your holes, and then countersink and drill. And as you see these are already actually done, but you'll use a 13 16 spade bit and just go about a quarter, about a quarter inch deep uh, with your countersink hole and then go all the way through with your 3 8 drill bit. And that's of course so the head of your bolt will be recessed in the lumber. Now the difference in uh, assembly steps with this, when you're using the quick connect system, drill your first set of holes and then flip the board over and you're going to do the same steps with the template on the other side. So you're going to mark your holes on the opposite end of the board and then drill them on this side. And the reason for that is, when we go to put the wall together, and we're going to set up the wall, so the countersunk holes, of course, are on the inside of the pit where the bolt head is going to be. And then on the other side, it's going to go right through the quick connect bracket. Your upper stud, is going to be on the top hole in the wall and then the supplied nut that comes with it is going to hold it in place. That's called the retaining nut. And hold that there for now and we'll come back to that side in a minute. And then you just simply put your two nuts and bolts through the top hole first and then do your bottom hole. Just go hand tight to start with until you get both nuts and bolts in. And then, usually I'll use a ratchet on one side of my socket. And then I'll use a drill, a cordless drill, to tighten it. It's just a little bit faster. So I lift up as I go to tighten. So now we've got both our nuts and bolts tightened, so that side's done. And now coming back to the quick connect bracket, as you can see there's small holes running down the bracket side. And that's because different lumber can be used. But what you want to do is you want to choose the bottom small hole for each board. So I'm going to choose the bottom hole where I'm going to drill through that hole with a 3 16 drill bit. And in your packet of fasteners, this, you'll find a small nut and bolt. You want to go the bolt side through the wall first, coming out the other side where you'll attach this, it's called a nylock nut. <clears throat> Get that hand tight, and then what you'll do is tighten, tighten the nut side, and as you tighten the nut, the head of that bolt is going to get recessed in the lumber, kind of as if you uh, countersunk the hole. So as that tightens, you can see this is flush with the lumber. And on this side, the thread from the bolt should end up where it's tight, flush with the, the end of the nut. If the thread comes through a little bit further, you can always file or grind that flat, because you just don't want anything sharp. And uh, that is connected both side, both parts of the lumber, uh, the board on the top and the bottom. So now our wall is ready to be connected to the next wall. So basically you're just going to line up your studs with the holes on the corner bracket. Once you've got those lined up, you just want to spin your threaded knobs on to hold, hold this in all three places and of course the 24 inch models 
they just have two studs. So now your walls are together. The next step is, I always like to take a two by two strip of wood and I'll first measure the length of it and I'll usually cut an angle right about here so it's not covering that bracket. And then I'll cut it a little bit shorter on this end too so it's not covering the bolt. So you end up with two by twos all across on each wall and that helps firm up a one by ten or plywood. And after you get that done I just screw them in with a two inch wood screw about five or six places along the wall. And then the next step if you purchased wall top covers you just slip your wall top covers right on and follow the instructions for putting those together. So that's about it. They're very easy to assemble. Uh, please look at our assembly instructions and if you have any questions please feel free to call me anytime. Thank you.